Let's see two amazing formulas for pi over 4 along with visual proofs of each identity. Start with a 7x5 grid, and inside the grid, draw a 5x5 right isosceles triangle. In the lower left corner of this isosceles triangle, we have an angle of pi over 4. We can then cut this angle into two separate angles using these two triangles, a blue one on top and the red one on the bottom. The lower red shaded triangle is a right angled triangle, and the legs have lengths 7 and 1 respectively. Therefore, the small angle in the lower left of the red triangle has a measurement of arctangent of 1 over 7. The remainder of the pi over 4 angle is the angle in the lower left of the blue triangle. We can cut this angle in half, which bisects the other side of that triangle, thus decomposing the blue triangle into two congruent right triangles. If we label one of the leg lengths of these two right triangles x, then we can check that the other leg length, which is the length of the diagonal line, must be 3 times that other side length, giving us a length of 3x. Therefore, the angle that was in the blue triangle, which is now made up of the two angles inside the purple and the dark red triangle, must be 2 times the arc tangent of x over 3x. But we can simplify x over 3x to 1 third, and we get that pi over 4 equals the arc tangent of 1 seventh plus 2 times the arc tangent of 1 third. This is Charles Hutton's formula for pi over 4 and it's from 1776. However, it does seem that John Machen knew this formula 70 years earlier. Alternatively, we can start with a 10 by 8 grid and draw an 8 by 8 isosceles right triangle inside so that the angle in the lower left of this triangle is again pi over 4. We can cut up the pi over 4 angle using three triangles this time. Each of these triangles is actually a right angled triangle as their two legs have perpendicular slopes. We can again compute these three sub-angles using arctangent measurements. For the middle blue triangle, if we label one side x, then the other side length is twice that value x, as shown here. This means that the angle measurement in that blue triangle must be the arctangent of x over 2x. For the bottom red triangle, we see that this triangle has a side length of 10 and another side length of 2. Therefore, the small angle in the red triangle is given by the arctangent of 2 over 10. And finally, for the top purple triangle, if we label one side length y, we see that the other side length is actually 8 times as long as y, and therefore has a value of 8 times y. This means that the small angle in the left of the purple triangle must have a measurement given by the arctangent of y divided by 8y. But now x over 2x simplifies to 1 half, 2 tenths is the same as 1 fifth, and y over 8y simplifies as 1 over 8. Therefore, pi over 4 is equal to the arctangent of 1 half plus the arctangent of 1 fifth plus the arctangent of 1 eighth. This identity is due to L.K. Schultz von Strasnitsky and is from 1844.